So Matt, you've been going to Carmine's since your high school prom, you little Casanova. Tell I us why you love it. I have, and that's part of the reason why I love it is because um, my wife and I, we were high school sweethearts, went to junior prom and senior prom together. And for junior prom, we actually went to Carmine's because it was, it's one of those places where it's so romantic. It's, it's the perfect Italian restaurant where as a high school kid, you can get away with a $13 pasta dish and not think that you're breaking the bank too much for it but it's also one of those places where you can go and get a forty dollar steak and it's going to be the best dinner that you've ever had so for me it's always been kind of that special place where you go to to celebrate something or if you just want to go out on a, a nice date night it's kind of the, the go-to spot for my wife and I. Well that sounds absolutely lovely and adorable I might add. <laughs> Sarah did you have the same experience? Do you think that Il Trazzo Carmen is the perfect romantic spot? You know I do but unfortunately I did not go there with somebody special. <laughs> I went there with a friend and we walked in and I kind of immediately walked in and I thought oh my god I'm underdressed and <laughs> you know this is such a romantic spot there are all these older couples like women in their pearls and men in their suits and they were all headed to the theater and I was like well, I'm here, and I need to have this dining experience. Um, but, you know, the food really blew me away. It was fantastic. What did you think of the room when you first walked in? Um, yeah, I felt the same. It was like, am I in the right spot? Is this Seattle? <laughs> there were white jackets and a valet service and people taking my coats, and that had never happened to me before. So I felt special. It was good. The ultimate in fine dining, it yeah, sounds like. Yeah, it's like old-school dining, mm -hmm. yeah. What does Il Terrazio Carmine look like when you go in? Well, first of all, there are sort of two entrances. I ended up going through the back door. I noticed that the host stand was, you know, across the room from where I was. Um, but the host just happened to be right there and took care of us. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's right underneath kind of 99, Highway 99, right basically kitty corner to Seahawk Stadium. Once you walk in, there's a lot of wood paneling and... There's big Italian ceramic plates hanging on the walls, and then in the back, they're not exactly private rooms, but it's kind of like built up where it looks like you're going back into a study or a back dining room. You can dress up as much as you want, or you can dress back as much as you want, too. Matt, what are some standards at Carmine's? Whenever I'm there, I kind of jump all over the place on the menu. I either go meat or pasta. Um, but my wife always does the same thing. She always gets spaghettini de mar, which is the spaghetti basically with lots of local fresh seafood. What I had the last time was uh, the lamb special, basically a seven inch lamb shank on the bone that was just basically so succulent. The meat was just falling off of the bone and it was kind of just the, the perfect thing to eat that night. Anything you get on the menu, if it's pasta or duck or rabbit or steak, it's just, it's excellent. We had um, a lot of grilled stuff actually, grilled polenta, grill, the antipasto plate was you got grilled vegetables and yeah, the flavors were great. It was, it was good. Sarah, what did you eat when you went? I started with the antipasto plate as well, which was delicious. I yeah. will always start with that because I like to put pieces of food together and make the perfect bite. From there, I had a pasta dish that had scallops in it and then radicchio, which was like this very bitter flavor that um, I, it really worked. I was very surprised. I'm not Radicchio's biggest fan, but it, it was good. Um, and then after that, I went and had the, um, the rack of lamb. It was cooked perfectly, um, served with asparagus. From there, we went with the profiteroles for dessert, and it was, they were the perfect way to end the meal. Did anyone start with a salad? Yeah, actually, um, that was the one thing that caught us off guard. It was this grilled Caesar, so you have the romaine lettuce. It's got this grilled flavor. That was delicious. And then there were these two pieces of fruit on either side. And it, yeah, it was a strange combination for us. And we had a uh, salmon that was just really well cooked. Yeah. So let's talk about your service experience. How was it? Uh, phenomenal. Um, yeah, kind of as soon as you sit down, they're just taking care of you. And I, it felt comfortable. It wasn't like there were all these strange things I didn't know how to use. but. They were just there when you needed them. So It was that nice mix between attentiveness and then aloofness as well. And so it was kind of that perfect combination between just the right amount of being there to take care of our needs and, and also leaving us alone when we just wanted to be by ourselves. Bill, talk to me about your perception of value at Carmine's. I felt like it was right on the mark. It wasn't too much. It didn't feel like it was undercutting anything. So yeah, Okay, and how about you, Matt? What do you think about well, it, you know, Italian restaurants are never going to be super expensive because of the pasta factor. And that's one of the nice things where you can go and 
it feels like you can go to Carmine's and you can get away with a $50 dinner for, for two. So is it just what you expected, Bill, the pricing? Yeah, I wasn't surprised. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't more, <laughs> which I think was really nice. And plus, I'd had a really nice time. So in the end, I was telling somebody, you know, that it was more like I fed my soul than, <laughs> than anything else. So Matt, uh, you picked Il Terrazzo Carmine. Sum it up for us. You feel like you're part of a secret club when you go there, but it's also romantic and it's also somewhat affordable. Um, I, I think it's just the perfect date night place. It's classic Italian and it's really great food and a, great for a special occasion. Okay, Bill, and you? Food was delicious and we felt like we were really well taken care of. All right, well you can be well taken care of and try the upscale Italian menu and atmosphere for yourself at Il Terrazzo Carmine. 411 First Avenue South in Seattle, 206-467-7797. Open for dinner Monday through Saturday and closed on Sundays. Reservations are accepted.